Lord Asriel is a scientist. He is an explorer and an adventurer. He is probably the most single-minded, self-possessed, ruthless person in this world of his dark materials. His dark materials is all about trying not to limit creativity. And it's about the emancipation of the human spirit. One of the things that really define Lord Asriel, he's viewed in this tale through the eyes of Lyra, a little girl, his niece, who doesn't understand him. He is a mercurial. He is unattainable. I want you to spy on the master. If you make a noise, I will not save you. You're on your own. She can't hold on to him as much as she wants to. She's crying out for a father figure, and he is not prepared to be that person for her. Please, Uncle! Run, up! I am sorry, but I just don't have time for you right now. He feels a huge sense of responsibility to all of humanity, and he will sacrifice his own family in order to serve the greater good. Take me with you! We'd have lots of time then! The North is no place for a child. So the Magisterium is a controlling institution that kind of pervades all countries and all levels of society. They want to control the flow of knowledge and the flow of information and the development of the human intellect. That is something that Lord Asriel cannot take as a scholar, as a student. He sees that as a challenge. He must break those invisible chains that are holding humanity back. Discover all you can by all means permitted. I need to know where he's going and what exactly he intends to achieve. In this reality of his dark materials, the human soul is actually personified in the character of an animal that is with every single person. My character, his soul, is called Stel Maria, and she is a snow leopard. The storm is upon us! I'm a solitary, cold, ruthless killer. My lord. That you have this constant companion, this other half of you that you and I don't get to converse with, and that's pretty awesome. I was particularly well acquainted with his dark materials. I think I read the first trilogy, I was maybe 21, actually. All my research was done. I was very excited because I knew exactly what I was going to do on day one. All good things pass away. The scope of Philip Pullman's imagination is incredible. The fact that he's dealing with free will and human rights, he's dealing with the right to learn, he's dealing with liberty and the things that they have to do in order to free us from the grip of these institutions are controversial and taboo and daring and anything but a kid's story. Ah!